you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and this is the key thing, and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. I want you to tell your neighbor, get connected with the Holy Ghost. Get connected with the Holy Ghost. The text makes it very clear to us that God not only has the desire for us to live in him, but for him to live in us. Verse 5 says, he who abides in me and I in him. Here Jesus shows us that there must be a mutual indwelling and a mutual connection. This meaning that you have to be in God and God has to be in you. Yes, it is in him that we live and move and have our being. And it is in his presence that we long to be. But God denotes very clearly that he desires to live and abide in us. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 27 reads, I will put my spirit in you and cause you to walk in my statutes. I'm going to read that again. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. It is 1 Corinthians that uh, chapter 3 verse 16 that says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that my spirit of dwells in you? It is then very coherent that we can't be just satisfied with God living with us living in God but we have to have God living in us somebody say get connected with the Holy Ghost in a world where there's so much chaos in a world where there's so much going on around us we need the Holy Ghost to be living in us the Bible says it is Christ in you the hope of glory yes be in God but make sure God is in you there are three reasons why we need to get connected with the Holy Ghost. The first and most obvious reason from the text is verse 5, which says, He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. The first reason why we need to get connected is because we bear fruit. According to the text, without the Holy Ghost, we would be a lost and destitute people. Half of us would literally be dead. We would be in a coffin if it wasn't for the Holy Ghost living within us. But because of the Holy Holy Ghost, we experience and we bear every fruit and everything that we need. For it is Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 that says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, come on, I want you to lift your hands when I read these things, if you need these things in your life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I know a lot of us need self-control. In this season, the Holy Ghost is producing an everlasting love for the broken, a strengthening joy for the weary, and a surpassing peace for the burden. However, you need to get connected with the Holy Ghost in order to experience them in your life. If you need love, raise your hand. If you need joy, raise your hand. And if you need self-control raise your hand it is the Holy Ghost that produces these things in our lives somebody say get connected with the Holy Ghost the second reason why you need to get connected is that you remain connected the second advantage of being connected is that the Holy Ghost will keep you it is Jude chapter 1 verse 20, 24 that says now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy. When you feel like giving up and you feel like throwing in every towel there is and you feel like killing yourself and you feel like walking the other way when God is calling you this way, it is the Holy Ghost that will keep you. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will sustain you and keep your mind when you are depressed. Nobody but the Holy Ghost keeps a man or woman 
coming from letting go of the rope at the brink of suicide. It is nobody but the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that keeps a man or woman from jumping off of the bridge. It is nobody but the Holy Ghost that keeps you from quitting your job and quitting your marriage and quitting college and quitting everything that there is. It is nobody but the Holy Ghost that gives you joy for sorrow. It is nobody but the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. It is the Holy Ghost that keeps us. It is the Holy Ghost that keeps our mind. It is the Holy Ghost Jesus, that directs Jesus. me. It is the Holy Ghost that shows me the right way. It is the Holy Ghost that convicts me. It is the Holy Ghost that speaks to me. It is the Holy Ghost that keeps my spirit. Oh God, hallelujah. It is the Holy Ghost that keeps us. Second reason is you remain connected. The third and last reason, and I am out of your way, is that you have the power of life and not the weakness of death. I'm going to say that again. You have the power of life and not the weakness of death. I just want you to raise your hand if you receive that. You have the power of life and not the weakness of death. You don't have death because the death is the enemy. But you have life because you have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us that the enemy solely seeks to steal and to kill and to destroy. But when you have the Holy Ghost, no devil in hell, hallelujah, can mess with the power that is within you. When you have the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and you're connected, no devil can bother you because all they know is death and all you have is life. When you have the Holy Ghost, you are empowered, hallelujah, to do exploits. When you have the Holy Ghost, you can walk and not grow weary. When you have the Holy Ghost, you can and not the weakness of death. It is the Holy Ghost that keeps my mind. I feel like we need to be kept this evening. There are many of you young people that need to be kept, hallelujah. You're depressed, you're weary, my and God. your parents are telling you you're young, you shouldn't be tired, but the Holy Ghost is saying, I will my keep my you. My it is the Holy Ghost. The last thing, Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, but if the spirit of him, catch this, but if the spirit of the Holy Ghost, but if the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, who raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, hallelujah, Jesus, he will give you life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. I'm going to read it again and I'm out of your way. It says, but if the spirit of him, hallelujah,